All right, class, today we are looking at, or this video rather, it's um, on the um, urinary system of a fetal uh, pig. Specifically, this is a female uh, fetal pig. You can see the ovaries here, the uterus, and so on, which we'll talk about in another video. So this is a female pig, and we're looking at the urinary system. So we begin with the kidneys. So here you have the left kidney, you have the right kidney. This kidney um, on the left side, like on the right side, it is referred to as being retroperitoneal. So the kidneys are retroperitoneal. What this means is that the kidneys are behind this particular particular peritoneal um, membrane. So this is the parietal peritoneum, and it covers the kidneys, both kidneys, okay? And that is why the kidney, together with some of the other structures, are retroperitoneal. It's retroperitoneal because it is behind the uh, a layer of parietal peritoneum. So you have the kidney. This kidney is here you see you could see the ureter coming from the kidney so the ureter is connected to the renal pelvis and from the renal pelvis you have urine would then flow via the calyxes into the renal pelvis and then into the ureter so here is the ureter going all the way down joining the bladder so this is the bladder, and you can see it's a muscular structure. I can feel how muscular it is. So this is the bladder. It's a long bladder compared to humans that has something more of a round or somewhat round bladder. These little pigs, they have these long bladders. So you have the kidney, the ureter joining the bladder. The ureter also leaves the kidney in a region called the hilum. So this indentation here is the hilum. And the ureter leaves via the hilum. Also, you have blood vessels. So you have the renal artery, renal vein, all of these either coming in or leaving the kidney through the hilum. So you have the kidney, this indentation is the hilum, and then you have blood vessels, so you have renal vein, renal artery, then you have the ureter, comes all the way down, joins the bladder. The bladder would store urine until it has to be voided, and urine would leave the bladder through and then join the urethra. So this is the urethra, bladder, urethra, which eventually would open into what we call the urogenital opening. Urogenital opening in females are close to the tail or close to the anus. So when you look at the uh, posterior side of the fetal pig, you will see two openings. One is the anus and then the urogenital opening. This is the papilla, which, or urogenital papilla, which can fold over the urogenital opening. So it can control what enters or leaves the urogenital opening. If we go to the right side, we have the same thing, so we have the right kidney. Here you can actually see the renal vein, and red would be renal artery. So veins, blood would exit via the veins and enter the kidney via the arteries. So the kidney, the hilum, we have this going all the way down is the ureter, joins the bladder. Urine is stored within the bladder. When it's time to void urine, 
it would leave the bladder, go through the urethra, and then eventually exit through the urogenital opening. All right, so bladder, these are the umbilical arteries, two umbilical arteries in between you have the bladder. If you look at the kidney, here this kidney I cut through, you can actually see some of the fine structures of the kidney. So for example, you have this layer is the cortex. So the outer layer is the cortex. The inner layer would be the renal medulla. So renal cortex, outer layer, inner layer, renal medulla. And when you look at the, the inside of the kidney, you can see lots of blood vessels. So the blue would be veins, red would be arteries. Within the renal medulla, of course, you have the renal pyramids. So you'd have several renal pyramids within the medulla and urine would leave the pyramid, join the minor calyx, or flow into the minor calyx, from the minor calyx to the major calyx, from the major calyx into the renal pelvis, and from the renal pelvis, of course, into the ureter, from the ureter to the bladder, then from the bladder, it would flow into the urethra, and then out through the urogenital opening, all right? So this was more or less the urinary system of the female fetal pig. So I will number these structures and organs for identification purposes. One, two, three, four, five, and six, all right, and seven, all right, seven. Okay, so this has been the urinary system of the female fetal pig.